Hi, welcome to IGC Lab. In this video, we are going to learn about the algebraic fractions. So what is uh, algebraic fractions? Algebraic fractions are fractions that contain at least one variable. So uh, what is variables like the X and Y or any other A, B, C, any letter we can use in replacement of variables. In our first expression, you can see we have the x variable. This is numerator and this one denominator. In the next expression, you can see that the denominator is an expression in terms of x. In our next expression, you can see that the numerator is a multiple of x here. In our next expression, you can see that both the numerator and the denom denominator both contain an x term here and here. In our next expression, you can see that both the numerator and the denominator contain an expression with x. In our next expression, you can see that the numerator and the denominator are the quadratic expressions. To add the algebraic fraction, find a common denominator. For finding a common denominator, the least common multiple of B2 and A is. So what will be our least common multiple of B2 and B A is? That is B2 A. Thus, the common denominator is b to a. Multiply the numerator and the denominator of first algebraic fraction by a. And then simplify. I'm going to multiply the first expression with a. And our second expression, I'm going to multiply with b to same here, B2 I multiply with A and A multiply with B2. Now I'm going to solve this. So this one I'm going to be multiplied with this. So it turns to AB and B1, B4 stays the same. And then this multiply with this so it turns to 3b where the power is going to be add up where is 1 so it turns to 3b three. and the down one is a b square and here a b square because we have the same uh, denominator so we can add up the numerator so it turns to now I'm going to multiply this a b with this bracket a b is going to be add up minus 4 a b plus 3b cubed and our denominator is ab squared. Now I'm going to rearrange it according to the powers. So here I'm going to write first uh, 3b cubed and then plus ab squared and then 4ab over now I'm going to take one more example for adding the algebraic fraction that is x plus 1 over 3 plus x minus 3 over 4. So what is our first step to solve this? To add the algebraic fraction, find a common denominator. 
So what we are going to do, we are going to find out the common denominator, the Elsman we need to take out for three and four, that will be times to 12. So our common denominator for this uh, algebraic fraction is 12. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to multiply this four to our first algebraic fraction and three to our second algebraic fraction. Now I'm going to solve this. 4x plus 4 over 12 plus 3x minus 9 over 12. And I'm going to solve it further. Here we have the common denominator, so I'm going to write this. So here, this is positive four and positive three, so it turns to seven X and plus minus minus and our sign up there and our, the sign up there is minus because nine is a larger integer. So, so this is our final answer.